in disguise here over the throne. Back onto the vertical again. Wait for it. That's the hammerhead stall turn. That's a very popular aerobatic maneuver meant to keep the airplane within a certain space. Here it comes, snap roll. Coming out of a loop, they call that the avalanche. Back onto the vertical again, he's rolling and pulling through this time. Notice how gentle this airplane flies. Now Eric has got to fly this airplane on the wing. Doing an eight. Doing point rolls up there. Looks like he did an eight point hesitation roll there. You've got to fly this airplane on the wing because you don't have that much horsepower. He's only got 90 horsepower. In about an 1100 pound airplane. And here he is hanging by the belts again. In a half feet of eight turnaround as he holds it in inverted. And rolls back to upright. And there he goes. Look at the slow roll rate on this airplane. Some people call it graceful, others would call it stately. But don't forget, this airplane was originally built back in 1939. The kind of aerobatics that you're going to see here today weren't invented back in 1939. Not to mention that at the time, World War II was just warming up when this airplane was built. Smoke is on. He's got a flat turn going there. Also known as uncoordinated flight. Look at that. Outside snap roll. Pulls back up onto the vertical again. Coming over the top. See what he's going to do with it. Oh, he's going to hold it inverted. Oh, he's hanging by the belts right now. There is a little, there's the hard part. He's pushing negative G's, trying to throw him out of the airplane. There is a little thing in the air show business called panic factor. But what that is, is when you turn the airplane upside down, as he does a snap roll there, what happens is your seat no longer touches the seat of the airplane. It just seems that no matter how tight you get the belts in that airplane, the moment you roll it inverted and start pushing negative Gs, well, you're no longer in contact with the seat cushion. Keep your eyes on it. There we go. Very graceful. Hammerhead stall turn. Remember, one second you're looking at the sky, the next, you're looking at the ground, thinking, hey. Pulling up, watch for the roll. There's one. There's, oh, look at this. He's going to tumble the aircraft again. You would think that an airplane this old wouldn't be able to do it. But that's what part of the modifications are about. They will make the aircraft much more maneuverable. Also, It'll stress the airplane so that it won't break while you're doing these maneuvers. Oh, he's doing this the hard way. Look at that. He's pushing out of it, holding negative cheese, all the blood going to his head. You might say that's a terrific way to get a headache, and you'd be right. Now he's going to reposition the airplane, but while he's doing that, he's going to roll it in front of it again. You know, I get the feeling this airplane flies upside down more than it flies right side up. Eric seems to love those inverted maneuvers. Bringing the airplane back around from the right. Uh, sorry, Precision uh, 